So, let me show y'all that. This is what it looked like. And I haven't opened it or anything like that. And I literally just got strawberries. Wait. No. I got raspberries and blueberries. And I put half full uh, in the mason jar. And then I covered them in Tito's vodka. Not blurry here. Okay. Anyway. So, I'm going to do two more of those. So that I make sure that I have enough. So, hang on just a second. Let me get the berries. Okay, um, I'm gonna rinse these berries. Even though in my eyes it wouldn't really be necessary as much alcohol as you're gonna put on them. But for y'all's sake, I I'm gonna do that, okay? So I'm gonna rinse these. And I'm literally just gonna give them a rinse, okay? You're gonna cover these in alcohol. So it ain't, anyway. If I was gonna eat these by the hands full, I would really be washing them, just so you know. Um, so I'm gonna take one container of raspberries and one container of blueberries. And let's see, are they a pint? I don't know. Hey, get down. My kids are acting up. Gotta, no ma'am, no ma'am. I'm sorry, that that wasn't planned. I love her, but she is not gonna get up on my cabinet or on my table. Anyway, okay. So I'm gonna take half of each and put them in these mason jars. Very simple. And really, I think you could diffuse any flavor that you love, whether it's blueberries or pomegranates or cranberries or whatever. This time of year, whatever's, you know, plentiful at the grocery store and what you love. I think you could do strawberries. I'm not an expert, but I think you could. My cabinet's clean too. This one is. Now that one is. Now I have to go wash that one off because she's jumped up on it. Anyway, and then I'm going to pour Tito's vodka over it and the um, reception is Friday, so it will sit until Friday. Now, what I'm going to mix this with is to serve it is I'm going to mix um, half of this concoction, this alcohol concoction, with ginger ale. And then as we serve them, I don't really know if we're going to serve them, to be honest with you. I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna garnish them with a sprig of mint, okay? Let me even this out. I'm gonna put a lid on those, and um, that's how we're gonna serve them or make the punch, or I'm, I'm probably gonna make the punch and put it in one of those um, pretty containers, um, glass containers with the spout thing, um, and then that way the guests can get their own. Just so you don't get sideways, there is, lemonade, tea, water, that kind of thing for people that don't drink alcohol. But for the ones that do, they're gonna have a nice little cocktail. And I don't know, I might come up with some catchy name for it. Maybe name it after Tracy and Dave's wedding or I don't know. But that's what I'm doing. And um, I'll let you know how that turns out. I won't know until Saturday. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. That's, uh, that's what I'm doing, and I will talk to y'all later, and we'll see you when we see you. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real.